I admit it has been a while since I had a microdermabrasion facial, or any facial for that matter, so I can't say for sure if the Murat Vita Triple C Exfoliating Facial is, as claimed, as effective as microdermabrasion in smoothing texture. I have, however, tested it for a good two months now, so I am confident I can give you a thorough review of the product that combines several types of exfoliation paired with vitamin C to help achieve glowing, even toned skin. Let's take a closer look at ingredients, how to use it, and which skin types it is best suited for. If you're new, you're welcome. I'm Dr. Anne, a physician passionate about skincare and well aging. Triple exfoliation facial is clinically proven to smooth texture as effectively as a microdermabrasion facial in just one use. The product contains fragrance but doesn't have a strong scent. I can't really pinpoint what it smells like, it is fresh without being too shower gel or too citrusy, and can be smelled upon application but doesn't linger. What surprised me is how firm the product is when squeezed out of the tube. It has a thick consistency but gets softer when you massage it onto your face, which is also when the initially bright orange color turns white. According to the website, it can be used 1-3 to three times a week and both AM and PM, but while I agree that it's both suitable for morning and night time, I wouldn't necessarily use it that often. You know, I don't advocate for frequent exfoliation, so I personally use it as needed, which was around once a week. Of course, every skin is different, but I recommend proceeding with caution here. You apply it to clean damp skin before any other skincare product like serums and stuff and massage it into the skin. What you will immediately notice are are the physical exfoliants that feel like finely milled sand and are very gentle compared to other scrubs I have tried. Still, don't press too hard, the massage will provide enough exfoliation without that. The massaging ends when the color turns from orange to white and the layer you created is left on the face for up to 10 minutes. Up to is important here as the longer you leave it on, the more intense the effect of the acids and enzymes will be. My skin can get easily irritated, but for me 10 minutes were absolutely fine. I only occasionally experienced a little warmth, but never any burning or stinging. If this one burns or stings, take it as a sign to immediately rinse. Speaking of rinsing, after 10 minutes everything is rinsed off, and I'm talking from experience here, that needs to be a very thorough rinse, as the small exfoliation particles do have a tendency to stick around. You then follow up with the rest of your routine, but my recommendation would be to stick to soothing products, not add any more acids or other actives on top. Apart from the physical exfoliants, you also have chemical exfoliation, namely glycolic, lactic and salicylic acid, which I sadly can't tell you the concentration of as it isn't disclosed. As glycerin is the first ingredient and usually used at 3-5% and all acids are listed behind it, you can assume that they are below 5% in concentration, which, at least for glycolic and lactic, means it is pretty low. The exfoliating enzymes are protease and lipase, able to break down lipids and proteins on the skin surface, and on top of that you'll also get probiotics like inulin and fermented ingredients as in yeast amino acids alongside apple and indica flower extract. The vitamin C used here is actually quite interesting, as it is a combination of tetrahexyl dezyl ascorbat, a derivative, and ascorbic acid. The ascorbic acid, though, is bound to colloidal gold and glutathione for stabilization, which increases its longevity and thus the shelf life of the product. I learned that from Michelle from Lab Nothing Beauty. If it works the same as the unstabilized is to be discussed. I do think, however, it makes perfect sense to use a stabilized form here as no one would be able to finish the tube within three months. It does leave my skin soft and smooth, and over time help even off the pigmentation left over from the summer. Not on its own, obviously, but paired with my other four skincare products, so yes, I can see it being repurchased in the future. If it's right for you, though, depends both on your skin and on the routine you already have. If you are already regularly using exfoliants, don't suffer from pigmentation or texture, or if your skin is sensitive or you suffer from rosacea, this is not for you. If you do, however, rather use a strong exfoliant a few times a month than a gentle one regularly, or if you want a gentle physical exfoliation to go with your chemical one, this is one you can definitely try. Despite the combination of different exfoliating mechanisms, it is gentler than you would assume. If there is anything you would like to add, please do so in the comments below. I will link to more videos on the screen you might find interesting, 
and add links to my Instagram, blog, and Patreon account in the description box. See you soon. Bye.